This is pretty uh, impressive. We've talked about the uh, the Trump administration assault on the administrative state. And um, here's the difference. Somebody asked, "What's what? You know, uh, wh- who was worse, the uh, the Bush administration or the uh, the Trump administration?" In Bush's uh, administration, and to be fair to uh, Donald Trump, uh, Pruitt is really like this uh, as head of the EPA. But the problem is they can't find uh, sort of subsidiary people. Um, Trump is appointing people who they are hostile to the um, the projects of their agencies, but they are not terribly knowledgeable. Here is Kathleen Hartnett. She is um, the Trump's pick for the Council on Environmental Quality. Uh, I don't know what her job is uh, now, but she is a former uh, Texas environmental state regulator who once actually compared gale- a belief in global warming to paganism. <laughs> right. Now, here's the thing. I feel, and maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong about this, but my sense is is that, l- largely speaking, George Bush had the p- the pick of whoever he wanted to fill these positions, and they would get people who were professionals at uh, fighting against this stuff, not dumb hacks and dumb. More like Scott Pruitt for everything. Yes, right? Hicks. Uh, who just used, got used to being like, you know, like Roy Morris, right? Roy Morris is a perfect example of the type of people that are populating the uh, the Donald Trump administration. I know Roy Moore is not, but um, just people who just are a completely, um, totally performative, right? With no credentials. Right. And here's Kathleen um, Hartnett, and she is going to illustrate what I mean by this. She is going to be appointed... The on the uh, the the Council of Environmental Quality, and all she understands is uh, just a talking point. And to go even like she doesn't have the arguments it used to be. You you used to be able to have arguments with with creationists who would come up with like no, there's uh, intelligent design, and we have these records from here and there, and this proves that they have a playbook for every fact that you could throw at. They, they they would they would be read into this stuff. She doesn't even seem to have done the most basic of homework to refute the assertions of Senator Sheldon Whitehouse. Do you know um, how much of the excess heat that has been captured by greenhouse gas emissions has been absorbed by the ocean? Roughly, say to the nearest ten percent. I don't have numbers like that. I've I've read about um, even to the nearest ten percent. Do you know if it's more than fifty percent or less than fifty percent? Uh, could you ask? I'm sorry, but could you ask the question one more time? Of the additional heat that has been captured in the atmosphere as a result of greenhouse no, gas emissions, I, do you know how much of that excess heat about that, has I, been captured in I, the ocean? Is it more or less than fifty percent? Do you even know that? Um, no. No. Okay. Um, but I believe there are differences of opinions on that, that there's not one right answer. Really? <laughs> uh, do you think there's actual serious difference of opinion, whether it's below 50 percent? Um, and unless I'm mistaken, yes. You think there is? Yes. Unless, serious difference of opinions as to how much of that has been captured question. by the ocean. You think there's serious scientific opinion that it's below 50 percent? Yes. Okay. Wow. Uh, do you think that if the ocean warms, it expands? Does the law of thermal expansion apply to seawater? Again, I'm, I'm not, I do not have any kind of expertise or even much layman's study of, of the ocean um, dynamics and the climate change issues. Just enough to know that you think that there's not science that establishes clearly how much of the heat has been ca- uh, taken up by the oceans. You knew that, right? You said you knew that. My time's expired. I'm sorry. I hear the gavel knocking. <laughs> wow. She looks petrified. Well, she 
is making assertions on something she knows absolutely zero about. She doesn't even understand what he's talking about. He gave her a, a yes or no answer, and she just like, you could see it in her mind. She's just sort of flipping the coin. No, no. She's challenging Betsy DeVos for uh, worst Senate confirmation hearing of 2017. She didn't even know which answer would be better for the climate change side and which uh, which answer would be better for That's the right. climate That's denier side. That's right. That's my point, <laughs> is that usually these people come armed with, well, I know, sir, that the normal statistic of is course that 90% of the yes. excess heat is trapped by the ocean. However, there is a, a large indication that uh, this is fairly typical and uh, that because of the depths of the ocean in certain parts of of remote areas we can't actually measure uh, down to the proper amount and so uh, thus I think that there is some controversy about the uh, larger points uh, you know I mean just she couldn't even BS about this they're a bunch of fucking amateurs you it's just go <laughs> yeah in the ballpark and then they ask you fall pop and you're just like I think we both just said how many the of these have we played where senators are and look you know, Sheldon Whitehouse, pretty sharp guy on some of these issues. Guys like Al Franken, pretty sharp guy on some of these issues. Um, but the fact of the matter is not like, you know, senators get more often than not have to get this stuff from their staffers. Right. And theoretically, their staffers are also people who could be working for the people across from them. And to see people who come so unprepared, like... This is what I'm talking about and the difference between the Bush and, and the Trump uh, administration. Why I think like, you know, if if people if if Trump is gone in three or four years, that some of these agencies can can recover in a way that they couldn't have under under Bush is that, you know, when when Ben Carson comes and says, like, I'm not going to take a quiz here and this and that, they're not skilled enough to destroy this stuff. It's like the difference between. Um, a uh, you know someone who knows how to sabotage a a bridge, you know by blowing it up, and one who's just like I got a lot of dynamite. You're and gonna I'm drive gonna, a truck into I'm it. I'm gonna drive, or or I'm gonna drive a truck on top of it, right? Like I've got so much dynamite, I'm just gonna drive right on top of the truck, and all they end up doing is just blowing up the 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 asphalt. I think we just accidentally put more homeless people into housing. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the plan. Unbelievable. She's like, um, Senator, I whichever answer is uh, 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 pro industry, and will destroy the environment. I exactly. can't specifically Honestly. give that. Like she doesn't even know. Like I'm, I'm sorry, Senator. I've lost track of which lie I'm supposed to. Tell I think right we've now. seen other people so just say like, okay, we know the answer you want is this, but there's some conflict on that. If she just said that, she wouldn't look so stupid. But she couldn't guess. What, is it more than fifty or less than fifty? <laughs> is that is that the environmentalist take right. or not? Which is the one that is going to suggest that there's controversy about this, please? Senator, are you trolling me right now? <laughs> um, could I, actually, could I, could you give me all the different options, please? There's an emergency. I think I accidentally actually confirmed climate science. I was told this would be a multiple choice hearing. Within type parameters. Uh, sometimes there's multiple choices and you don't even know. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.